Maureen, thanks for joining us today. When do you take up your new role? Our current MLC, Kate Fairman, will be resigning at the end of June uh, for the Senate election in September 2013, and I'll be taking up this position in July. Of all the parties, the political parties that you could have joined, why the Greens? I've been a member of the Greens for, uh, for 10 years now. Um, and really, when I looked at Greens policy and met a few members and parliamentarians of the Greens, that was really a party that aligns very strongly with my values, the position on sustainability, on protecting the environment, on human rights, social justice, and particularly multiculturalism is what attracted me to the Greens. And I've been advocating and campaigning on those particular issues for a very long time now. And one of the things that you said recently was that you hope to build better connections between the Greens and migrant communities. How do you hope to do that? I've already started doing that. I ran for the state seat of Heffron twice over the last two years, once in 2011 against the sitting Premier Christina Keneally and then when again at the by-election in 2012. And that's when I really started making more connections and talking about Greens policies and principles to the communities from areas where I come from. So that was a great opportunity to take our MPs and talk about policies that migrant communities are really concerned and passionate about. Things again like human rights, social justice, education, multiculturalism. And that message was resonating with those communities. And that's what I want to do more of once I take up my role as an MLC. And do you see yourself as a role model for Muslim women? I grew up in Pakistan in a Muslim uh, culture and a Muslim family. Um, and I think I'm very typical of Pakistani Australian Muslims who, for example, you know, um, abstain from alcohol and practice um, fasting during Ramadan. Um, but I would like to say that that's one aspect of who I am. I would really like um, to be defined by what I do, did professionally in life and what I do for society in general which is me being an environmental and civil engineer and really working on protection for the environment. I've worked in local, state, um, government as well as in consulting firms and um, in universities. Um, and that's kind of hopefully will be the role model that I can be for young Muslim women and women from other migrant communities as well as broader Australia. And one of the comments that's been made recently I think by the Islamic Friendship Foundation is that it might be difficult to reconcile Muslim beliefs with Greens issues such as gay marriage. What do you say to that? A really important point I feel to make there is that we live in a democracy in a secular system of governance. Um, and I see no role that religion plays in government um, and nor should it. I'm not a spokesperson you know, for religious Islam. There are many other MPs who are Christians and likewise they're not spokespeople for, for the church. Um, so that's a really important point to make. And like I said earlier, I um, joined the Greens because of a really strong position on sustainability, social justice, human rights, multiculturalism. And I feel really excited and very proud to soon be representing the Greens as an MLC and further advocating very strongly equal rights for our indigenous communities, for our migrant communities, for our LGBTI communities, regardless of race, gender, economic status. I think human rights is really about equality and that provides dignity to people and humanity to people, whether it's equality in gender or equal marriage. And I feel very, very strongly about that. And what are the main things that you'll be focusing on while you're working for the Greens in New South Wales Parliament? In New South Wales in particular, I really have a very strong stand on protecting our national parks. These are issues that are currently very vulnerable in the government that we have protecting our environment, national parks, really fighting for action on climate change, um, as well as gender equality, if I can in some way contribute, which I hope that I will, to reducing that gap in gender equality, having more of a stronger status and an equal status for women, for working towards um, gay rights, for working towards equal marriage. These are the things that I have in my portfolio, and these are the things hopefully I can make a really big change in. I've been working in positions where I can influence change and work with communities at grassroots level to do that. And that's really what I want to do in Parliament as well. Maureen, thanks very much for your time.